Horror comes to us in a vast range of possibilities. It can be the mysterious tale of a hotel that drives people crazy. The illustrations of a manga about spirals that are consuming reality. The pages of a book about a possessed suit that comes on a heart-shaped box. But for me, the scariest of them are horror in games. The gameplay aspect of the genre is what makes it the best media for horror. The story will not go on without you you are the one who has to go forward. But as in other media, horror in games is becoming every day more formulaic. We see the same old stuff over and over again, and that makes it harder for really good and different games to have all the attention they deserve. Halloween is here, and it would be a crime to let it pass without a horror-themed special. So I decided to make this video to talk about a few different horror games that are worth a try and that will be on your thoughts for a while. The games are not in any particular order and this video will not have any spoilers. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it is as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. It's good to be back. This was the beginning of The House Abandoned, a small game developed for the Ludum Dare 36 by John McCallan. The idea worked so well that Devolver Digital decided to publish a bigger version of it. Developed by No Code, Stories Untold differs from everything in its genre and elevates to the max everything shown in the previous version of the title. Launched for PC, Switch, PS4 and Xbox One, the first game of the studio is a submersive experience, a story-driven thriller, a textual, experimental narrative and one of the greatest examples of interactive storytelling in the genre. The game consists in four episodes, with different stories, locations and puzzles. It is almost impossible to talk about it without ruining the experience, so you should definitely play this. And the best part, it is a very cheap game. Low visibility, top-down perspective and a non-linear narrative that will haunt you for a long time. Darkwood is a 2014 game developed by Acid Wizard, a Poland game studio that was started by three friends that were tired of their old job. The game had a really successful campaign on Indiegogo, and it became easily one of the best games in the genre. Released for PC, Switch, PS4 and Xbox One, Darkwood explores the fear of the unknown, using audio to basically destroy every sense of security you'll get. An intense sense of fragility and an overall atmosphere with a high lethality that will get you constantly on the edge of your seat. The sum of all that makes Darkwood an easy choice for Halloween season. From the developer known for Dusk and its fast-paced killing, Iron Lung comes as a switch of pace. The game takes place on the bottom of the ocean, but not on Earth and the ocean is made of blood. Iron Lung is a short horror game where you pilot a tiny submarine and, well, do I really need to keep going? The game uses sensory deprivation as a main key to create the atmosphere that there is nowhere to go, nobody to help. Iron Lung is a sweet taste of how far short form horror games can go. The Tension is an atmospheric horror game released in 2017 for PC, PS4 and Switch. Developed by Red Candle Games, the game takes place during the 1960s Taiwan, during a time known as White Terror, a period of 38 years under martial law, where political repression took place. Incorporating religious elements based in Taiwanese and Chinese culture and mythology, the game focuses on exploration puzzle solving and a really heavy hand on historical events that sets up most of the plot. Taking heavy inspiration from classics of the genre and leaving you on a constant sense of dread, the tension calls us to see the ugly side of things before giving our thoughts and conclusions. The 
The Dread X Collection franchise is a unique series of horror games that are bundled up in a collection form. A lot of different short games from a lot of different developers. Some are good, some are bad, some are... Um, well, it's cheap and there are a lot of new possibilities to try out. This is a different type of video on the channel. Maybe we can try it out with other subjects, who knows. But for now, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Any support will be greatly appreciated. All of the game's Steam links will be in the description. Have a good one. Bye.